Christmas tree because there are two major things. When you walk in, does it look like Christmas? Jill 1978, that's me. Like, oh, look at me, I've got great decorations. And then we have our stockings that we've had forever. I thought it might be a nice idea to take you guys through the house and show you some of our not some of our, probably all of our Christmas decorations. We don't have a ton, so it really won't take that long. Um, and not because it's like, oh, look at me, I've got great decorations. It's more about, I oftentimes like to get ideas from other people. So maybe I'll show you something that is an idea that you didn't have, or maybe not. Maybe I'm not that creative at all, and that's fine too. But I would love to hear your creative ideas on how you decorate your house for the holidays. And maybe you can like compare it to ours, be like, oh yeah, I do that, but I add this, or I do that, but we do it in a different way. So I'd love to hear all those ideas because I'm, especially with decorating a new house um, you know we bought all of our Christmas decorations for our house in in Maryland okay these guys are having Alice has not been the same by the way since this morning when she got the rabbit she has been sitting by the door and meowing and meowing I had to put her in kitty timeout which is actually Katie's bedroom um, and so she was in there for a little bit of time I feel bad for her but that's just how it is anywho um, so I was, so, so my decorations, um, we bought all of our decorations for our house in Maryland and had to sort of fit them here. We're like, okay, well, where will that go? Where will that go? Because like, for example, we don't have a mantle here, fireplace. So where we put the stockings and that kind of thing. But anyway, um, I attempted to start to film where all of our Christmas decorations were going and realized that the house was an absolute mess. So I'm going to put you guys down for just a second. I'm going to go around and straighten it up. Now when I give you the tour, you're probably only going to see the Christmas decorations, not the house, because it's a mess right now. Mike's downstairs doing the dishes. So stay tuned. Let me straighten up a few things so I can show you. Okay, I think I'm ready to show you what we have. So it's not, again, it's not totally clean, but I'm just gonna take you through and show you our Christmas decorations. So I am gonna start with the Christmas tree because it's my favorite one. Actually, my favorite Christmas tree is downstairs, but I'm gonna show you this one. This one is, is the favorite because it has all the family ornaments on it. So we do have two trees. One is a family ornament tree where we've been collecting ornaments since well, I will show you, since forever ago. The oldest ornament on the tree, like when I was a kid, my parents used to buy each one of us ornaments um, every Christmas from our church's Christmas bazaar. And this one is the oldest one on the tree. Look at that sweet little duck, isn't she cute? Look, and we have a um, tradition where we put the year that we got the ornament on the back and it says Jill 1978, so that's me. And the funny thing is, Back in the day, I guess we just didn't have markers. Maybe we had markers, but for some reason, we always wrote it on the back with fingernail polish. Don't know why, but mom had a lot of fingernail polish and that's, so we learned to write with paintbrushes. So anyway, that is the oldest ornament on the tree and my absolute favorite. And I love so many of them, um, but that is, holds a special place in my heart. So this is our Christmas tree. And the last time you saw it, it didn't have the beads, and it didn't have the flowers, and it didn't have the star. I went through four stars, believe it or not, before I found that star. I literally brought home, well, I brought home two, bought a third one and then returned it before I even brought it home, and then found that one. The problem was is I needed to find a star that went with the lights and the lights are cool light instead of warm light and I could only find stars that were warm light and they kept not looking good and then when I brought home it was already broken I was like forget it so um, finally I found that one and I love it I absolutely love it I wanted it to be a fairly traditional star and that one is so this is our Christmas tree Brennan, Katie, Ryan, Mike and I each have our own ornaments on here and some of them are family ornaments but that is number one. And then this little guy down here, he is our Christmas um, tree skirt. And we got this a long time ago. 
He's velvet right here, and velvet in here, and says Donnelly, and then gingham right here. I like him because he's bright and he goes with our beautiful bright Christmas tree. Okay, the next thing in our room is this. Remember I told you about the stocking? So if you guys have any ideas about Christmas trees, let me know. Let me know if I did the beads right. Let me know if I did the flowers right. Let me know if you like the star, what you put on top of your Christmas tree. If you have a Christmas tree, I'd love to know. And then these are our stockings. Again, since we don't have a mantle, right now we're hanging them underneath the television, which isn't very santa E, but kind of, oops. And we put these um, command strip hooks. That's what we did the mantle too. And then we have our stockings that we've had forever. These are, um, these each were purchased like when the kids were little. So they carry every year. And then these are the ornaments, of course, that you guys have seen in our merchandise. But on top of this little hook there, I put a little velvet bow right there to make it look festive and cute. So that's that. These are some Santa Clauses that we that I've been given as gifts. Now I've started a little collection. I have three Santa Clauses. Actually four, but one's still in Maryland. So I have these guys. And then this was, I don't remember where I got that, but that's a cute little peace sign. And then I love the blinking lights. This year I bought this guy. And it's so funny because look at that truck. Totally matches Mike's ornament. Isn't that cute? This matches Mike's. This is a... a our Christmas photo from a few years back. This is our very first Christmas photo with um, the kids. So that's Brennan, so darn cute, love that. And I just bought this this year. Obviously, my frame is, is too big. And then the blinkies, we like the blinkies. My friend calls them the flashers. And this little basket. Okay, next. So I wanted to be able to put a little bit of Christmas in the bathroom and then also in the kids' rooms. So I'll show you the bathroom first. Again, not clean, but I'll just sort of give you, this is, this is how Ryan keeps the bathroom. It's so embarrassing, you guys. All right, I'll have to fold that later, but there's a little guy for our plant. This we've had forever. It's our little Santa soap dispenser. And then these are little angels. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I bought them off of one of my friend's kids was selling Christmas decorations or whatever, but they're so cute in here, I thought. Okay, don't look at the rest of the bathroom. Now, in Katie's room, we moved the cat tree in here for now so we can make room. So I decided to take the pillows that we're selling um, on our merchandise location. So I uh, um, love that fam. We have five pillow we have five pillow decorations and I thought oh my gosh that's so cute because there's four beds in Ryan and Brennan's room and then one in Katie's room so I brought this little guy that's her favorite pillow and you know how have you ever get um, in the mail those catalogs that um, where they'll be like it'll be like Pottery Barn or Martha Stewart or Southern Living or whatever and they're always decorating their guest bedrooms and all their bedrooms. They change their sheets out for Christmas sheets and they change their tops, like the, the comforters out. Like for all these like Christmas sets, who has that? Who does that? Maybe you guys do that. I have Christmas sheets like for the twin beds from a long time ago because they're flannel and they got them for Christmas one year. But like to switch out your whole bedroom decor is, well, I long for that, but Certainly not something that is in the budget right now or I have the time for. So I thought if I could just put a little piece of Christmas in each of their bedrooms and the way I did it was with a little pillow. So there's a pillow and then they each have one of these little guys that Nana bought for us a couple years back. So I'll take you in and show you what it looks like in Brendan and Ryan's room, of course, with the four pillows in the, on the four beds. And again, the room's a mess. But look, isn't that cute? Here's the joy pillow, the peace pillow, the bright pillow and the merry pillow so it just gives it a little bit of christmas even though you don't have to switch everything out just add a little pillow and there are our little guys again that nana bought us so we each have them all right let me take you downstairs that's it for up here i'll take you downstairs and show you what we've got going on down there for christmas decorations Oops, wait, this is our foyer when you walk in. We just bought that mirror off Facebook Marketplace. Mike and I are trying to decide if it's too big for the space and if it matches the table. I don't think it necessarily matches the table, but I really, really like the mirror. Ryan said it's too big for the space, but look how pretty it looks with our angel and our two lights. So he, she's a Christmas decoration, and I just did a very, very simple entryway decoration. I have a wreath hanging out here. With blink, well, with lights that go on, and I, that's one of my favorite signs. Can you guys read that? It says, because it's Florida. Oh, the weather outside is sunny and delightful. 
Alice, you're not gonna get the rabbit, buddy. I'm so sorry. Okay, you guys, I'm asking you for opinions on Christmas decorations. Can you please give me your opinion on what I should do with Alice about wanting to go catch a rabbit? Okay, we have this little tree right here. He's just sitting there all nice. But this is my favorite tree that I was telling you about. This is our, the one upstairs is real, as you know, and this one is not real. I'm not gonna call it fake, because it actually is a tree. But um, I love this one because it's silver and gold and just, this is my fancy tree. This is my attempt at being in a magazine, which I'll never be in a magazine, but this is, um, you know, it makes me think like I'm potentially magazine worthy. What do you guys think? Do you like that? A little bow on top. Anyway, it matches that guy and our room. And then over here on the TV, we have our little Christmas trees. Again, just little spot things. Mike doesn't like to go overboard on Christmas decorations. If I had my druthers, I would do the whole thing. But we're just doing a little bit now. So that, oh, and then out here. Out here on the lanai, Mike put little hooks up there. So we put our Christmas tree lights. Looks like a Mexican restaurant if you ask me, but I love it like that because it's so darn festive. And then we have this guy right here, which I didn't turn on yet. Hold on a second. All right, he's our little wreath for out here. And he's my favorite because look, you can just push a button. I got him at Michael's. Well, you didn't get the wreath at Michael's, I got the lights at Michael's. But you can go blinky blinky to white and all the different colors. And then you can go blinky to white. Isn't that cute? And then you can go blinky blinky, that's a little much. And then you can do this. You guys be careful if you get, uh, if you're prone to um, seizures, I don't want you to watch. But then you can just go off, or just regular white. I like that guy, and then I like the one that goes like that. I think it's so festive. And then this guy right up there, he's a little solar light. He's a, um, a little penguin with a Santa coat on. Can you see him? Oh, why is he focusing? guy. There he is. Cutie patootie. So that's it. Those are our Christmas decorations throughout our house. And pretty simple and sweet and a little festive. Oh wait, one last thing. I forgot to show you the other Santa Claus. He is beautiful. Well, I'm not going to tell you that, but you tell me. What do you think? Mike, you like him, don't you? I do like him. I think he did a great job, babe. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, I think it's festive, but not cluttery. Yeah. That's the key, right? Yeah. Everything kind of fits in, but it doesn't feel like there's junk everywhere. Well, when you walk in, does it look like Christmas? It does, yeah, with the wreath on the door and the tree, yeah, two trees, that's pretty cool. Pretty Christmassy? Well done. Thank you very much, Mike, I appreciate it. You guys, so comment down below, let me know if you like, what you don't like, if you have ideas to plus up, if you have ideas to change, what you do, I'm dying to know um, what you guys do and what traditions you might have for holiday decorations or Christmas decorations that we might be able to um, steal. Oh, also this little guy. Oh. And the lights go on there, too. Oh, you know what? I think I left the lights on and they died out. I need to put a new light thing in there. But he's kind of cute. I took all the rest of the little ornaments from there and put them in there. All right, you guys, so I'm editing the video. I'm gonna stop it right here because there are two major things for Christmas decorations that I did not share with you that are totally like the heart of our home and Christmas. <laughs> One of them is these, which if you watched us um, getting our Christmas tree video, you've seen these. But these are little wreaths that hang on the kids' doors that have been hanging on their doors since they were in the threes. So like that, like the preschool threes. They made these in the threes. This is Katie's. It was made in 2006. This is her little handprint that's turned into a wreath. And I absolutely adore this and they always get hung on their bedroom um, doors at Christmas time and of course since Brennan and Ryan share a room this is Brennan's little handprint and there's Ryan's little handprint their little handprint wreaths I absolutely adore them and the second thing is the most important thing of all is this this is our nativity scene and I just glossed right over it last time because I was showing you Santa Claus so this is our beautiful nativity scene that we have and depicting the story of Jesus. And I always try to have a star above it. Right now, it's this star. When we lived in Maryland, we didn't have that star. So I had a different star behind it. I had like a standy star that stood up behind it. And I think that's still in Maryland, actually. But we always have a star above our nativity scene. So that is one of my most favorite 
Christmas decorations and I would um, consider leaving that up all year if I could. Mike, can we leave it up all year? Nativity uh. scene? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yes, all right, a funny story this. I, you guys, I have um, total poetic license here because I told you I had two more, but I actually really have three more. So this is adorable. This is a little snow globe that Ryan bought for me for Christmas because I used to have a very pretty snow globe for Christmas, different than, one, than the one from upstairs, but he was playing ball in the house just like the boys on the Brady Bunch and, <laughs> and knocked over my um, snow globe and so bought me a new one for Christmas that year. So that was maybe two or three years ago. So I love snow globes and I just saw one in the store too. It's little like um, flamingo snow globe like a flamingo Christmas one it was all I could do to not buy it but anyway so that's it so that is those are our Christmas decorations every once in a while I put a little something else up like today I put a little wreath out front like another little wreath but I'm not going to go through the hassle of showing you guys that cause it's really not done yet so I'm really I don't ever really finish decorating for Christmas until like after Christmas because I keep putting things up here and there and messing it around and moving around and that kind of thing and plussing it up hopefully but um for for now, those are our Christmas decorations. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you enjoy our decorations. I'm going to enjoy mostly reading the comments because I want to hear what you guys have to say and what you do. And I would love to hear about your like your favorite Christmas decoration. Maybe not of mine, of yours. So write it down in the comments below because I want to know about your Christmas and what you guys are doing and your holidays. Um, if, even if you don't um, decorate for Christmas, what your holidays look like, your favorite holiday decoration. So thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. Comment that down below and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and Love That Family merchandise, visit lovethatfam.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.